Today we're stepping out of our comfort zone and we're working on a gas vehicle. Um, there are some of those running around out there and we've seen a few, but um, here at Thoroughbred Diesel, we are we offer Bully Dog and SCT products. One of our most popular tuners that we offer is the GT gas tuner. So again, part number 40417. Today we're gonna to be installing this on a 2016 Chevrolet half ton truck 1500 with 5.3 uh, liter motor in it. So So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and unpackage the GT2, the GT gas and show you what comes inside the package and then we're going to go down and do our update on the tuner. So uh, this is actually Bully Dog's new packaging. If you've been looking at these, uh, some of these unboxing and installation videos you've seen, they're the older packaging. This is the new packaging from Bully Dog here. All right. Uh, so inside the box, first off, you get the monitor. You get the windshield mount, will come with it. And then in the bottom of it, you're gonna have, uh, this is your registration card. Then you've got a little quick glance card that tells you all of the fuses that you need to pull for a Chevrolet app application. So if you got a Chevrolet, guys, keep this. You're gonna wanna use it. Um, this is just a little brochure that tells you some other products that Bully Dog uh, offers. A uh, big warning sticker here to uh, go to bullydog.com for instructions. Let me talk just let me talk about this for just a second. Now this is a very simple thing. This this kit actually doesn't come with a printed set of instructions for the unit in it. You go to Bully Dog's website. You can print off the instructions. They've also got a quick start guide. We'll show you that on the video. And then this is the uh, warranty mumbo jumbo. Uh, a bunch of legal jargon that I legal jargon that I cannot read. Now, as Adam would say, the piece de la resistance is your SD card. Inside of here is the SD card, and your SD card, you're going to be using this for the update. This actually will go in the unit, uh, and we'll show you the functionality of that. This is the um, this is the the kit that comes with all of your wires, your power cord, your OBD OBD2 drop as well. That's in the bottom of the box. Uh, you get the OBD or the uh, shoot the SD card uh, jump SD card dongle that you will need for updating. So make sure you keep that and don't throw that away. This is the power cord uh, that you will run to a key on power source in some of the applications. Then you have your OBD2 connection here. HDMI cable that takes you from the OBD2 cord to the head unit of the Bully Dog. And then we've got a mini USB cord that comes in the kit that you will use uh, for the updating process as well. Inside of here, you'll get a sticker pad. If you decide you don't want to put this on the windshield, you want to put it somewhere else, we've got a provision. The Bully Dog sends you that. Then a couple of wire connections for the power cord. And then a couple of really nice, uh, I don't know what the proper word for it is, puffy. Very nice Bully Dog stickers. So that is what is in the wiring kit. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head downstairs and we're going to do our update. So we're gonna take the uh, SD card dongle, our SD card, which is in this envelope, we're going to take the head unit down with us and we are also going to take the mini USB cord. Those are the four things that we're going to need for our update. And now I wanted to just show you how to um, put your mic the micro uh, SD card into the dongle. Um, I'd call them jump drives or whatever, but the contact side of this, you can see that contact side goes towards the um, pocket towards the, um, it actually goes towards, you can see there's metal contacts inside there. The copper contacts go towards the metal contacts for lack of a better word. So go ahead and slide the micro card in here. And seat it and then put that into your USB port and now we'll start the update process. So I had had an error come up there that said that I was not uh, connected to the internet uh, or Bully Dog server was down. I fixed that situation. What I also did 
was I came out and I took the Bully Dog Updater, which was in my start menu. It'll be different from here, but it was in my start menu. I drug it from the start menu out on the desktop. I definitely suggest doing that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my SD card in the dongle in a USB port. The computer should uh, recognize that that has been inserted and we will fire up the updater here. Just double click it and it will start. So this found the driver for the uh, SD card and there we go. The device is now ready to use. Um, the update agent is already uh, has already found the uh, card and it says that it's for a GT Platinum or GT Platinum all. So we can do that. So we hit select device. I like to hit select device, apologize. It says update is needed, so we're going to click update right here. Now it tells us this is not the upgrade. The update agent is retrieving the correct file from our servers. When the files have been downloaded, the update will continue. So this is just a uh, update for uh, the device. So. We are going to pause right there while this is finishing. Once the uh, updates have been done to the file or they're downloaded, uh, it will begin unzipping and updating the files on the SD card automatically. At this point, you will have a box come up that tells you that the latest files are now on your GT Platinum. Uh, it tells you to install the SD card into your GT Platinum and complete the update by selecting update on the GT Platinum menu. Please close the update agent before continuing. If needed, refer to your quick install guide at step 4C for complete instructions. All right, so we've got our SD card updated. Uh, we are re ready to update our firmware and also uh, change the vehicle onto the unit or change the vehicle onto the GT unit. All right, we have got our update done now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the SD card out of the USB slot, and then we're going to take it out of the dongle. Then we're going to put the SD card into that notch right there on the bottom onto our head unit. So, and it will only go one way, so do not force it. But once you have it going the right way, you can feel that it's going to want to engage um, the slot correctly so once you get it there just take your fingernail or and push it until it clicks and then once it clicks you've got your SD card in now we're going to take our mini USB cord and we're going to go to any USB port on our computer be right back all right magic of TV I'm back we're gonna plug the mini USB into the head unit here just to power up the head unit. All right. There we go. Once the head unit uh, is uh, up here, you, it shows us to be in USB mode. We don't wanna be in USB mode, so we're gonna hit the second button down here from the top and that will exit the USB mode. In the bottom of the screen, it'll say USB mode off, and then it will come up and it will go to the platinum gas. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the menu button and we're going to change the platform. So this is the up and down button right here. I'm gonna turn this around and see it because I'm not small, smart enough to do it backwards. We're going to go to change vehicle here. And we're going to choose Chevrolet. And we're going to go down and go to Silverado. And then it is a 5.3 liter. So we're going to check the 5.3 liter. And the year is 2014 to 2016. We're going to choose that. And now it will say, do you want to change the vehicle to a 2014-2016 Chevrolet? You daggum right we do. 
and that will do the updating that you need to do on the tuner and it will put in all of the uh, fancy files uh, that you have gotten off of your updater. It will reboot the um, reboot the head unit as well so you'll see power fall away from it and then it will come back on and away we go now it came back up in usb mode again to turn usb mode off you hit that second button down usb mode is off again it will reboot for gt platinum gas and it says an update isn't available. So this is the update that's on our SD card. It wants to update that. Do you want to update it? And you go to select down for more and I hit the update option here on the computer. Man, this is hard to see. Update, got it. And application for the 14 plus trucks, SV. Do you want to load this file now? uh yes to upload it so yes i want to do that here we go so that's automatically going to update the files in the gt now that this is done we are ready to take the gt out to the vehicle and plug it into the obd2 port all right now what we're going to do is we're going to install the download on the vehicle now for different applications you have to do different things to install the, the download some applications what you have to do is actually you'll pull your stock file out take it in run it back through the updater and then you'll be good to go um, on some applications a lot of gm applications you have to remove fuses so uh, please make sure you go to bullydog.com and download the installation manual for your uh, for the for the 40417 and that way it will give you the ability to look at your specific model and let you know what needs to be done for the download. So for this truck on the 2016 trucks, we don't have to remove any type of fuses for this truck. So what we're going to be doing on your OB2 cord here, you've got two choices for key on power source or battery power source. We're going to switch it over to battery first off. Then we've got our HDMI cable that came in the kit. So we're going to just uh, attach our HDMI cable to this and then the HDMI cable goes to the back of the bully dog head unit now it's worth noting at this point that this head unit does not have to stay in the vehicle you can tune this truck with the bully dog GT and then unhook it take it in the house if you don't want to watch the gauge screen or whatever uh, whatever reason it is you don't have to do it you can tune it and take this out but we're going to tune it and leave ours in so we're going to actually do a physical installation so step one in this is you've got everything hooked together here your HDMI cable your OBD2 drop you're going to go ahead and plug into the OBD2 port making sure that you are switched to the battery connection that way you've got power make sure that your batteries are charged on your vehicle before you start working on it when you start working on it, if you feel like the batteries aren't charged up enough, start the truck, let it run, uh, or hook a battery charger up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to menu, and we're going to let this thing stop dinging at us for just a second. And it's probably not going to do that because of the hood being open. You know what, Adam, I don't want to listen to that, do you? Just a second. Let's do this. Now, we're going to go ahead and click install download here. And it'll want you to verify your vehicle type. So we're 14 plus Chevrolet. We're going to go ahead and hit yes. And Adam says we've got to take the plastic off the screen. So we're going to do that now. I'm nitpicky about that. I like to leave it on until I'm done with installing. But for video purposes, we're going to take it off. All right. This is all the legal mumbo jumbo. Uh, a lot of big words in here that I can't read. So I'm going to say yes to all of these. Uh, if you can read multi-syllable words, I definitely suggest that you read those. Uh, where I can't, I won't be doing it. So we will agree here. Uh, this tells you that make sure that your battery's in good, excellent condition. Uh, this is worth noting that you need to read this and make sure that your battery is ready to go. So. Let's continue. This is just preparing the tuner to download.
now it's downloading the instruction file. <laughs> uh, that's a bad, bad joke. All right, tells us to turn the key to the off position, which we will do. Then it tells us to turn the key to the run position, which we will do. Communicating with the vehicle. Turn the key back to the off position. It's gonna ask us to wait 15 seconds. Go back to the run position. Back to the off position. 15 more seconds. Run position. Communicating. Uh, do not interrupt the download. Uh, one good thing about Blue Dog, if you have an accidental disruption, it will take you back to where you uh, where you left off, and it will start over. Uh, Bully Dog has worked hard to make these units um, very safe for your ECM, uh, and to make it to where this is going to be a process that even if you have some sort of a catastrophic failure on your download, uh, i.e. you unhook it or whatnot, uh, that it's going to be able to recover your ECM uh, and uh, get you back there. Now through the um, we're going to take a little break here. We're at 10%. Uh, take just a few minutes to do this download. We're going to go ahead and read this stock file uh, and then we'll be right back. Once it has read the file and saved the file, it will tell you to turn the key to the off position. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right. Just going to wait 15 seconds. Key to the run position. We got ourselves a valid stock file here. So now it asks you what power level do you want to run. Uh, and then this is going to also be dependent upon the octane level of gas that you use here. So you've got stock, regular, and premium gas. Uh, they run regular gas, so we're going to select regular and then hit enter here at the top. Do you want to adjust the speed limiter? Uh, absolutely, so we're going to click yes here. Uh, should be able to get it up here to, I don't know, some sort of a land speed record for a half ton stock, stock wheel and tire Chevrolet, so 200 miles an hour should be just good enough to suck the paint off this thing. Enter. Uh, we have no tire size adjustment because these are stock wheels. If you did, you would say yes here. So we do not want to, uh, we do want to use the stock base, so we're going to hit no. Do you want to adjust the gear ratio? If you're changing the gears in this truck, you would do this here, no on that. Brake torque management, do you want to enable that or do you want to disable that? Um, we're going to leave it enabled for this truck. And then enter. Now it's going to build you a file to put in the ECM. Everything is good on the checking off part of it here. So key to the off position.
We're on position. Communicating with the vehicle. So now you're downloading your tune that goes into the engine. So this will take just a little while and then we'll be back as soon as it's done. So we've got the download, went into the truck, we're at the key off screen. This was actually really, really fast. It took about, what, three minutes out of something like that and we were done there. So we're going to go to the off position. Another 10 second, uh, 15 second, 10 or 15 second wait's pretty, pretty popular. Yeah. All right, key to the run position. Congratulations, the download is done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit continue here. We're gonna go out to the main screen. All right, so I'm gonna start the truck and then just make sure that we're okay here. So some of the different functionalities of this, I'm gonna let this run for just a second and then I'll, I'll uh, click back over. All right. What I'm gonna do here, just show you some of the different functionalities on this. You can click, uh, let's just say, if you, we, we got a code we want to read, you can hit menu. And then you want to go down to um, diagnostics. You can click on diagnostics. This is going to pull any uh, diagnostic trouble codes that are in there. No DTCs are present, so we can go back. You can clear them here. You can display them. Uh, you can save them if you want to use them, if you want to read them at a different time. So you want to go back here. This gets us back to the main screen. Uh, then we're going to go back again. Uh, this puts us on our gauge screen. So if we want to change any of the gauges, we want to hit menu here. We can do gauge setup. Um, the pyro one, the big gauge, that's the one that we're going to uh, look at here. We've got speed, we've got RPM, we've got coolant, we've got, I want to do, um, let's do trans temp and put that here. So there we go. So now we've got trans temp in, the, in that. So um, you can play around with the different ways uh, to move gauges around. Um, on the um, GT. Uh, you can do performance testing. Uh, what I'm going to do also here is I want to set up the driving coach. So we're going to do the driving coach setup. We want to set an economy goal. Uh, let's set it to 20 miles a gallon. You can set it to whatever you want to. And then we go go back, go back. So our driving coach, um, will be in there. You can change through the night, the nighttime, daytime. All right. So we want to talk just a little bit about gauge setup on the Bully Dog GT. Uh, changed some things here and got it to where I actually wanted it. Uh, it had been a while since I'd set up gauges on a on a gas vehicle, but uh, I want to show you what we did here. So to change the gauges, you get four different parameters that you can follow on the GT. Now, whatever of these these four parameters that you want to display on the big screen over here, you just touch it and it will take you, it will actually read that over to, the, um, to that screen there. So if we wanted to put the throttle percentage over there, we could do that. If we wanted to put the coolant over there, and I don't know why the um, that comes up for that. But anyway, here's the RPM and then we've got our, our economy. So this economy, we set a 20 mile per gallon goal on here. This will actually tell us where we're going to be as far as getting to our goal. So we've got our, our download done. 
uh, we're ready for our physical installation of the GT now. Now, again, you do not have to physically install this in the car or the truck unless you want to. We're gonna, the customer wants this because they wanna use the driving coach feature. That's one of the reasons why I would have it in the truck all the time, but we're gonna go ahead with our, uh, with our physical installation. All right, for the Bully Dog uh, GTX, what you have to have is you have to have a key on power source run inside the cab to the truck. Now you can pick up your key on power source from the internal uh, if your vehicle has it, if you have a fuse panel inside the truck. I'll be honest with you, as far as the new Chevrolets go, I don't like taking the panel door off of the interior of it. it. Scares me to death. I'm afraid the damn thing's gonna fly apart on me, so I just don't do it. So I'm gonna use the panel uh, out uh, here underneath the hood. So what we've gotta do now is we've gotta find a key on power source. So to open up the fuse box on these trucks, you pull your tabs back, and then that lets you lift your uh, lid off. So I've got a test light here. You don't need much amperage. A small 10 amp fuse will get it if we can find it. So let's see, Adam. There's two good 10 amps right here. Ground's still on over there. What about that one right there? There's a little 10 amp that's out by itself. Let's see if it's got power to it when the key's off. Alrighty. The key is off. Still got power. That's no good. Let's look at. Let's look at this little 15 here. All right, I know it doesn't have any power when the key's off. What is that? 15. Number 42. Coolant fan clutch. Hmm. All right. Key is on. It's got power to it. Key is off. No power. All right. That's the one we're going to use. Inside your handy dandy little bully dog kit here, you get a little fuse tap and then a splice for your fuse line. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull the fuse and we are going to find the hot leg of the fuse. So we'll pull it, pull our fuse back. I'm gonna turn the key back on. And we're going to try to figure out which side of this is hot. I'm going to need to get in there. All right. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for which side of this is hot with the key off. And that is the, or the key on, that is the side we want to go to. So we're going to know it's going to be the left hand side here. Key off. Take our little little leg here. And then we take our fuse and we just put the fuse through. Folks out there in TV land, you ever have one of those days that everything you touch just doesn't go according to plan? And it doesn't matter how many hundreds of times that you have literally done it in your life. 
it just don't go. And today, I'm having one of those days. So, I am doing the best I can. Not to curse. Not to curse. And thanking the man upstairs for the little bit of patience that I've got left. All right. And then on days like that, when everything you touch goes awry, those are also the days that you have to work on the most intricate little things. All right. Life lesson aside, back to, back to the fuse panel we go here. We will push that fuse back in. Now we want to check that with the key on, make sure she's good to go. Right. Key is on, excuse me, Adam. Get back in here, check my thing. Bada bing, we've got power. So what are we gonna do? We're going to take this tap now onto the power wire and we are going to Pull that back. We will splice this on here just like so. I'm going to get a pair of crimping pliers. We're going to attach that right to our little tab. Then we're going to run it. We're going to put our lid back on the box and we're going to run it right through this grommet and into the cab. Our OBD2 drop, you got a couple of ports on this. You want first thing you want to do is you want to switch this over to key on power source. So switch it over to key. And then with that, you will go ahead and insert your power line your key on power line. Then you will take your HDMI cable and you will put your HDMI cable into this OBD2 splitter. And then guess what? You're gonna take your OBD2 splitter and you are gonna plug it into the OBD2 just like so. And what we will do is we will check and make sure that we have key on functionality of the Blue Dog GT. So we heard her, we heard her chip. She chipped up there. Now we want to shut it off and make sure it goes off with our key. So we shut off. That's it. So we got key on functionality of the Bully Dog. The Bully Dog is installed in the truck. You know, why do you want to install the Bully Dog inside the truck? Well, it's good to have your gauges, even on a gas vehicle. It's good to, to uh, have your gauges. There's parameters in the Bully Dog that you can pick up and that you can watch on, on this that you can't necessarily watch in the, uh, the DIC here. So. start the truck let the wind blow through my hair for just a minute um, and also the driving coach the driving coach functionality inside of this tool is a very very powerful thing it's going to help you to be able to save fuel um, get your driving correctly to be able to save fuel and saving fuel is going to save you money saving money means you're going to get to buy more things that are a lot funner to spend your money on than gas like uh, you know guns and fishing rods and things of that nature or whatever uh, whatever your your personal preferences are so bully dog GT definitely suggests getting one I can tell you the back story on this truck the reason why that we had uh, we went with the GT in this truck was we were having some um, some TCM problems with the truck really just, the owner just didn't like the shifts we had had uh, reflash done by Chevrolet just wasn't his liking let's try the bully dog it smoothed out 95% of the problems that he's got with those shifts, the adaptive learning with the transmission, eventually it will overcome the other problems that it's had. So, um, yeah, that's it. Bully Dog GT gas uh, for the 2017 Chevrolet. If you have a question about this install or any of our other products that we sell, please give us a call. Like and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.